Well, he had to be nimble on the way round. You take the brave route. A couple of horses, had they fallen other ways, could have led to the continuation of what had been a torrid week to this point. But York Hill, despite briefly losing concentration halfway up the running, has followed up that success in last year's Neptune and won this year's JLT. Come down towards the last in front. It is presenting Percy is over. Barney's one in second, then jury duty and the Tourard man. But up towards the line, it is presenting Percy for Davy Russell and Patrick Kelly for the three weeks clear on the run up towards the line. And the stable who won it last year will do so again. Presenting Percy beats Barney Twan, jury duty, the tour art man, then Sutton Manor, who's home head of Electric Concord, Barney Man in for good measure, Clyde to Burley and Hell Bandit together from Golden Doyen, and they stretch all the way back to Mr. Mix and Fingal Bay, and unfortunately, to be fair as well. What a patient ride by presenting Percy's jockey, Davy Russell. He won this on Maldini for Patrick Kelly uh, last year, and he has repeated this towards the final fence and showing no signs of stopping at the moment six lengths back to some lieutenant this is the last one to see thrown at it by Ruby Walsh leads by five lengths in second place some lieutenant and the so has given his all now he only has the hill between him and a memorable victory in second place being ridden along with some lieutenant but under so with a terrific exuberant display gives Willie Mullins his 50th festival winner and how the time has turned Second sub lieutenant Asa ran a mighty race in third. Empire of Dirt, Josses Hill, Allery, Oxisandra, and Banneter. I'm not convinced it was entirely the plan, but what an engine this horse must have to travel like that, jump as boldly, even at the closing stages, up the hill, and another grade one success for Willie Mullins as he reaches the landmark 50 festival winners. As Cole Harden rises, but you know what I mean, Harry is poised in the perfect position. Little Rockefeller then snow fork and jest. He continues to pick his way through the field. Little Rockefeller on the outside of Cole Harden. Now you know what I mean, Harry, on the run down towards the last, is asked to pick up in third place, Snow Falcon, Nichols Canyon stealing into it, under that man again, Ruby Walsh, Little Rockefeller, all heart out in front, and you know what I mean, Harry, is being stoked up, Nichols Canyon scuttling up this near side rail to throw down a challenge, this is the last in the status hurdle, Little Rockefeller out in front, you know what I mean, Harry and Nichols Canyon, for the pursuers, Little Rockefeller is down in the end of the lead, Nichols Canyon, Falcon and the rest are in a cough. Little Rockefeller is so brave, but Nichols Canyon grounded out, crept into the race, and what an afternoon for Ruby Walsh and Willie Mullins. Ruby wrote to respect is over. Three lengths clear to Baron Alco. They've got a break now. Jack Mitten with the four to win beaten and Hanford Starkitect, but down towards the last, it's Road to Respect, who overcame an early error himself, who's clear at the last from Baron Alco in second place as they set off up the running. Boom Raiders in third, then Thomas Brown from Valley Can and Art Moress. But the Irish dream continues. It's going to be five out of five as Road to Respect kept up to his work, beats Baron Alco. At the line, Road to Respect won it well. Second for Baron Alco, third for Ubre, Thomas Grapper, Starkitech, Bally Can. Rock on comes next from Art Mares, Henry Bill, then Katachenko, Benjamin got round an ace, Wild Dirk, King's Odyssey. Well, luck may have run out for Diamond King. He made a mistake. He nearly got brought down at an instant down the back. That only left one other Irish runner. And it was Road to Respect, a 14 to 1 chance for Noel Mead and Brian Cooper. St. Patrick's Thursday. Well, St. Patrick's Day, really, this afternoon, has come a day early. Stalking 
Nathan for Ruby Walsh get to play his hand. Deppy Desai towards the last in the triumph hurdle. Bapo looking for a way between Expatriate and Mega Fortune. And on the far side, Kerr de Leon. This is the last. Deppy Desai comes to take it. Bapo gives chase over the final five. Deppy Desai out in front by two lengths. In second place, Bapo. And it's Deppy Desai who's left the juvenile hurdles throughout the season and will lead them home in the JCB triumph hurdle. Deppy Desai, a smart youngster. Mega Fortune possibly back up for second with the poem, the judge will be needed. Expatriate, what a fantastic run by that horse. Fifth place for land of hope and glory. Charlie Parks landed made late ground. Behind these was Cur de Leon, who got the pace forced by Denaria Desobo, who didn't make it home. Well, Richard Johnson came on the scene, two from the finish, having made his ground quickly, absolutely cantering. He had to sit and wait and then commit at the last, but it was irrelevant because Deppy Desai, head and shoulders above the juvenile division this year, has won the triumph. The mistake, then Dominada, Ozzy the Oscar, North Hill Harvey, Winter Escape just moving off the rail with Wait For Me, Creed Hill, then from the back of the field, Mohayan, and still Wakir is clear, and still has a 10 length advantage, and they've only got one to take. In second place, Ivanovich Gorbatov, then North Hill Harvey, Ozzy the Oscar, Diego de Charmiel, Wait For Me, then Winter Escape, Bertimon towards the outside as they head down towards the last, it is Wakir out in front, Ozzy the Oscar, then Ivanovich Gorbatov, Winter Escape moves through into fourth place in the back, Arctic Fire is coming with a run as well. This is the last then in the county hurdle. The leader's swallowed up and it's Ozzy the Oscar who leads over it. The winter escape, Arctic Fire under the near side rail. Ozzy the Oscar out in front from Lavi Surge and Arctic Fire up towards the line. Ozzy the Oscar on the inside, Arctic Fire. Lavi Surge over on the far side. Arctic Fire gets the lead. Lavi Surge searches. Up it. Arctic Fire under Walter Berth, I think, has got home and won the county. From Lavi Surge, Ozzy the Oscar behind these for Nettie Mayne. Late ground and a bunch for the pace. Wait for me. Also, Ivanovich Gorbatov and Winter Escape. Air Horse, one of Mohayed. Number one, Arctic Fire. Arctic Fire won the county. And class came to the fore. Willie Mullins can do no wrong. That is a stunning training performance. Arctic Fire, after 418 days off the track wins the county hurdle, one of the most competitive handicap hurdles of the entire season. Lavi Surge, also with a big weight, has run a Me Devoir from Elegant Escape. Holstone pulls out. The World's End, Death Duty was short of room. The World's End is down. Hampers Constantine Bay. Death Duty was short of room briefly on the approach to that flight. And Me Devoir, Mona Lee, the horse up okay. Holstone towards the outside. Death Duty being written. Then Elegant Escape, Penn Hill, but Paul Townham creeping into it as well in blue and white colour down towards the last. Holstone on the outside of Mona Lee. Ami Debois switched to the far side. Penn Hill coming there very strongly. But that man Paul Townend again. Death Duty will not be winning. Down towards the last. Holstone, Mona Lee in the centre. But it's Penn Hill who has swept through the lead as they approach the final fight in the Albert Bartlett. Penn Hill and Mona Lee are over just about together. Holstone is beaten off in third. It's Penn Hill who sets up the running in front from Mona Lee in second place. And Penn Hill swept to the lead in the Albert Bartlett and Willie Mullins has another winner on the board. Double for Paul Towery, big day for him. Penn Hill beat Mono Lee in third Holstone. Constantine Bay ran on for fourth and was unlucky because he was hampered in the fall. And he did wire Augusta Cape past a few late on. Elegant escape. They say about a game of two halves, death duty. Gordon Elliott's leading fancy in his mind of the week after cause of causes. It's come to the mine. Two out in the gold cap. Jefferson got it very close. And now it's once again thrown open. Sizing John on the near side, Native River. An exciting John who seizes his opportunity and goes to the front in the gold cup. Over in front, Sizing John. Jefferson trying to rally. Then Native River behind these men out of Rocco and Safi Gamal. Sizing John out in front. Jefferson trying to get back. Native River staying on. to finish the second last crucial Jackadam had cruised through the race but he got in close and it tilted the scales in favour of sizing John who seized the opportunity Robbie Power and Jesse Harrington won the gold cup
Derek O'Connor leads at the second last. Passion of Holder in pursuit in second place. Then behind these come Paint the Clouds in fourth place. And Barrel of Laughs. Then on the fringe, a Manella for value. Passion of Holder coming in through down and challenge. The Balder Slow, wonderful charm is coming strongly on the outside. The Katie Walsh. Passion of Holder sets up on the running in front. Barrel of Laughs over on the far side. Wonderful charm up towards the line. Passion of Holder to wonderful charm. And Barrel of Laughs. Passion of Holder. And Paul Nichols is on the mark for the week in the Fox Hunters. It got desperate late on. They were coming from everywhere. Bryony e. Frost has written a winner at the Cheltenham Festival, the Fox Hunters, to Pasha de Polder. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm 